in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed which men deliver to one that is learned say read this i pray thee and he saith, i cannot why for it is sealed next verse and the book is delivered to him that is not learned saying read this i pray thee and he said i am not learned that means there is a realm where both the learned and the unlearned cannot help themselves no matter what earthly advantage you have there are dimensions where it is only the spirit of god chapter 32 and verse 8 of job Eli who was speaking he says but there is a spirit not in heaven in man there is a spirit in man and the inspiration the word there is breath breath it doesn't just mean vision the breath there is no motivation that gives illumination. It takes the breathing of the spirit can give men understanding. Isaiah 11 and verse 2 that all these spirits when they rest upon you go to verse 3 they are all for one purpose and he shall make him of quick understanding. That means there is timing matters in your knowing the things of God of quick understanding of quick understanding of quick understanding lift your voice and say Lord light my candle light my candle neither do men light a lamp that's the secret not neither do men have a lamp neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel Shibarakaduza Bragadias Zibrendiza Siana Hashalambi Light my candle, O oh God. Light my candle. Open my eyes to see. Hallelujah. Job chapter 29. We're going to shortly. Job was a very, very strange man. We're reading from verse 1 to 4. Moreover, Job continued his parable and said, We're reading to 4 that i were in the months past in the days when god prayed me uh-huh when his candle shined upon my head now think just don't rush when his what candle shined upon my head that god will shine a candle upon a man's head and when by his light not my light by his light Thy word, O Lord, is a lamp to my feet, a light to my path. When by his light I walk through darkness. For as I was in the days of my youth, when the secret of the Lord was upon my tabernacle. This was the basis of his results. The Lord shined his candle upon my head. Then the Lord used his light and say, walk through your darkness. Use my light. And then he kept his secrets on my tabernacle. 
like you go to your library and you find a book called the secrets of god you can now begin to read all the exploits that happen light secrets light secrets light let me tell you the truth there are things that are not public god must come to you and show you ephesians chapter one let me show you something and then we'll sit down ephesians chapter one mighty god of heaven from verse 8 wherein he had abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he had proposed in himself that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he may gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are in the earth, all in him. He says, in whom we have also obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who worked all things after the counsel of his own will. Yeah, this is it. Please, let's go to chapter 3. It just came to my spirit and I thought to share it with us. Verse 2. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you, word, meaning for your sake, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as i wrote aforetime in few words whereby when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ now the verse that i've been looking for is in verse five read with me please one two read which in other ages that means that there are truths that in other ages were not known it says as it is now revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the spirit it is not every mystery we share now that was known in time past the holy spirit has not stopped revealing just like he has not stopped creation the bible says in revelations there were times john saw some things he says seal it close this one it is not for this time one prayer the mystery for this season oh god let me see it the secret of the lord that makes for exploits in this season not just in time past what the spirit is saying saying which in time past was not known But in these last days hath he revealed to us by his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. The mystery for the season, oh God. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. Let's pay attention. We'll rise up and pray just to exhort our hearts. When Jesus began to teach about the Holy Spirit, among the many things, please settle down, among the many things he said, the Holy Spirit will show you things to come, not just things that are happening. That means you will own the future by having access, knowledge and light of the things that will be useful in the future the holy spirit he will show you not just that he would take things that are mine 
that is already spectacular but he says he will show you things to come he will show you things to come things to come let me tell you the things that god is the knowledge that he's bringing please listen these are not necessarily the things that will only benefit us now they are the keys and the patterns that will give us access to the future praise the lord father we bless you and we pray that the entrance of your word will give light and will give understanding to the simple in the name of jesus i pray like never before that what i'm about to share and exhort us on that finally someone will get this thing and that in the name of jesus christ as you get it you will rise like an edifice unhindered you know your time has come not just by the prophecy that comes you know your time has come the light comes to you when light does not come no matter who prophesies your time has not come you will rise and shine not because of prophecy prophecy informs you so you can receive your faith you can release your faith to receive that which is meant for you but it's going to take light to us. hallelujah the law of honor this is one of the deepest spiritual mysteries it is one of the most powerful spiritual laws i know second only to the law of encounter no matter what laws you know in the spirit if you do not know this you will never rise the law of honor pay attention we will listen and then we'll pray teach us your ways oh god make our lives easy by the wisdom that comes in knowing your ways in the name of jesus take away struggles take away hardship from our lives in the name of jesus christ very very powerful i will continue to teach us again and again that this kingdom is a kingdom of mysteries the bible says in matthew chapter 13 and verse 11 it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven we don't reign just by goodwill don't reign just by good intention having a sincere desire is not enough to reign just being a kind and a nice person is not even enough to reign there are many kind and wonderful people who are victims of situations and circumstances it will take light everybody say light you see let me tell you this as god reveals these principles don't just write them on a jotter write them upon the tablet of your heart that if they ask you tomorrow what are the secrets of the kingdom you know you can bring them out i may not know this and this but by god's grace i know this one and i know this one they are irrefutable principles backed up by god's own integrity there is no man there is no policy there is no civilization that will change or corrupt the immutability of these truths it is true believe me when i tell you and god has granted me access by his grace to certain mysteries and principles of all of them i will continue to tell you second only to the law of encounter this is the greatest in terms of value the laws are all powerful and they have their place but they are not equally powerful hallelujah the law of honor the mystery behind very strange open doors the mystery behind the unstoppable lifting and the rising of people the mystery that can in one day end captivity this is the mother that gives birth to favor favor is at the mercy of this knowledge hallelujah two scriptures one first samuel chapter 2 please and verse 30 first samuel chapter 2 and 30 
wherefore the lord god of israel said i said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father should walk before me forever but now the lord said be it far from me for them that honor me i will honor and they that despise me i will lightly esteem that means trivialize this is god speaking them that honor me i will honor but they that despise me i will likely esteem the kingdom works based on seed time and harvest that means that there is always a seed every result that we obtain in the kingdom can be likened to a harvest please understand what i'm teaching you i want you to get this law that it is and right when you call every result that you obtain in the kingdom a harvest whether it is healing whether it is deliverance whether it is prosperity whether it is fresh grace activation of the gifts of the spirit whatever dimension it can be called a harvest and that for every harvest there is a seed everybody say seed please say it again seed the bible tells us in genesis chapter 8 and verse 22 when Abraham read an offering that was well pleasing unto god the lord came and made certain vows backed up by his own integrity and he says as far as the earth remains he says seed time and harvest then he lists all the others shall not cease that means for every harvest you desire you start your journey to actualizing that harvest by knowing what seed produces it are we together now not every seed produces everything there are seeds and harvests that are allocated for those seeds are we together now very very important for instance attention and listening is the seed for learning if you want to learn a harvest knowledge the seed that you sow is your attention my son pay attention not just listen pay attention so attention is a seed and that when you pay attention to anything the harvest that comes is that you will learn about it are we together knowledge in itself is a seed for change or transformation you are not transformed by desire you are not changed just by intention it will take not for any change and any transformation to happen there are seeds very very important time is the seed for destiny there is no destiny without time please listen when god wants to give you a destiny he gives you a seed of time the way you sow that time will determine the kind of destiny that you will have that a man's destiny is a multiplication of the seeds of the time are you seeing why time is important that whatever tries to fight your time is not really really fighting your time is fighting your destiny because your time is the seed for your destiny appearance for instance is not only the seed for acceptance it is the seed for perception appearance does not just talk about the clothes you wear alone appearance is the seed for acceptance it is also the seed for perception that means i am at liberty to perceive things about your life based on your appearance if i see a mecca with a white um lab coat and apron and a stethoscope i can perceive that based on that appearance i can't call him a carpenter that is not the appearance of a carpenter are we together now that means that if i can change your perception by changing my appearance it's very very powerful 
I'm showing you seeds and the harvest that come. Words, words are the seeds that carve intentions and thoughts. Words, you use words to paint an intention from you to someone. That means if I want to transfer what is in my heart to you, the seed I will sow is words. If I don't speak right, I can create a harvest in you that was not what I intended. I'm showing you how these things play. Are we together now? Battle is the seed for territory. Every time you want the harvest of a territory, the seed you sow is battle. There is no access to a territory without battle. Are we together? Friendship is the seed for relationship. That he who wants friends must first show himself. You must sow that seed of friendship. This is very, very, very powerful. Prayer and fasting are the seeds for both personal and corporate revival. It's, it's all through scripture that every time you really want to see revival, no matter what else you add to the table, if there is no prayer and fasting, you just added fertilizers without a seed. The seed for revival, both personal and corporate, is prayer and fasting. Honor is the seed for access. Please write it down. Honor. Don't assume you have heard what I've said. Don't assume I've taught it so many times. Just listen very carefully. Honor is the seed for access. That means dishonor is also a seed. And there is a harvest that dishonor brings. Dishonor is the key to barriers. The harvest that dishonor brings is a barrier on your way. This is powerful. Many of the breakthroughs we seek in life will come at the instance of the access that we have. And I'm teaching you that in the realm of the spirit, that every time there is a limitation standing before you, then there is a dimension of this law that you must engage. Otherwise, you will remain there. If you're with me, say amen. All failures can be traced to dishonor. All, without exception. All failures in your life and my life can be traced to dishonor. A threefold dimension of dishonor. Dishonor to God, dishonor to men, dishonor to spiritual principles. All failure can be directly traced to dishonor. Dishonor to God, dishonor to men, dishonor to principles. Are we together? What then is honor? Please write this down. Generally, honor talks of esteem, esteeming a person or a thing. But let me give you a definition that I've used and I've found very valuable. Honor is the discerning. Please write. The discerning. True honor starts from discernment. The celebration and the rewarding of excellence of usefulness of value honor is the discerning the celebration the rewarding of excellence from the word excel of usefulness and of value that means that you have please come you have the fortitude to honor first to the degree to which you can discern is a spiritual perception that you must have the ability to discern value the ability to discern excellence the word excellence means the fortitude to surpass standards are we together now 
the ability to discern the use of a person or a thing either to your life or a system is called honor please listen very carefully that means dishonor on the other hand means trivializing importance dishonor means trivializing value trivializing usefulness trivializing a system a principle a person please write this i'm so glad that we're learning this even as we prepare for the business session tomorrow i believe it's going to be a very powerful time please pay attention listen dishonor means to take things or people for granted dishonor means to lightly esteem in second timothy chapter 2 and verse 20 the bible tells us there are certain vessels that are unto dishonor that are unto dishonor they are vessels but they are unto or for dishonor that means a vessel unto honor or a vessel unto dishonor is someone learning something here it is the key to all kinds of access the moment a door closes the key that opens it will be honor to god or honor to men or honor to principles or a combination of all of them are you getting what i'm saying now this is very very powerful and i'm teaching this because many people in our generation do not know that reason why a person can mark time at a realm spiritually in ministry in business in family and so on and so forth because of one word dishonor dishonor is such a serious thing to god and honor is such a serious thing that the entire old testament was a system of creating honor listen very carefully believers i preached a message years ago called commanding results and that was the first time i began to talk about honor and i have watched this lord change people's lives i've watched it change my own life and i want you to hold on to this lord tonight like a ladder and let me see the devil that will stop you from rising honor very very powerful The Bible lets us know that honor is required for success. Honor is required for any and every level of lifting. Whether it's spiritual, listen please, whether it is intellectual and all of that. When a student sits down in class to listen to a teacher, that attention is honor. The student sits down, he starts by discerning that this man standing before me, even if a student is at a higher level are we together now that this man standing before me has paid the price to accumulate the knowledge needed to lift me beyond my position and so the student further demonstrates his honor by placing value on what the lecturer is saying now being out many information may escape his mind he will write them down and follow it through that is honor are we together now this is very very powerful because many believers do not know honor they do not understand honor violate spiritual systems here and there and we continue to become victims although well-meaning nebuchadnezzar dishonored god and god taught him a lesson that his sovereign power cannot be shared with any man he turned him to a beast and for seven years his life was miserable are we together now it's very very important there are all kinds of things happening in the body of christ and i can tell you the reason why many ministries many businesses many destinies many individuals some of our well-meaning parents never had the opportunity to rise one word dishonor 
this law also states that anything you dishonor will diminish in your life anything god man knowledge money anything you dishonor will begin to fade and erode out of your life and anything you consistently honor will begin to magnify in your life it's true we have dishonored men and women of god around the world members have dishonored their pastors and their leaders Husbands have dishonored their wives. Wives dishonored their husbands. Please listen. Students have dishonored lecturers. Lecturers dishonored students. We have dishonored men. We have dishonored God. We have dishonored laws. The laws that make for success. Isn't it amazing the way people believe that they will make impact and have no regard for laws? They just hope and think that their lives will magically evolve into the will of God. Either because they have good intentions or they think that they are not evil. No. Everything is built by laws. If it must last, it is built by laws. A spiritual life is built by laws. Prosperity is built by laws. Impact and influence is built by laws. Evil is built by laws. Grace of God the lavish disposition of the grace of God upon a man's life is built by laws. Sustainability of anything is done by laws. And if you do not know the laws that are allocated for having access to the hearts of men, the hearts of kings, especially in this season, then you may not rise to certain levels. Hallelujah dishonor is not only bad dishonor is sin you have to understand this we're not just talking about a concept that is positive or negative dishonor is sin that has real consequences we live in a world where the success and the sacrifices of many can be trivialized within a heartbeat. We don't have regard for the sacrifice spiritually and otherwise of people. I will tell you why people never rise. Because we have not trained ourselves to discern difference. To know that there is a difference between a failure and a success. They are not the same. It's not an insult. It's not being sarcastic. There is a difference between being anointed and not being anointed. There is a difference between being graced and not being graced. It's a difference between being knowledgeable and ignorant. There is a difference between being old and young. There is a difference between being responsible and irresponsible. There is a difference between being spiritual and unspiritual. Do you know this? If you cannot discern it, then you will not know who and what is deserving of honor. Are we together now? This mic is doing something first to my life and then to all of us. Are we together now? My honor to this mic will be to keep the systems that will keep it amplified. Are we together now? If I off this mic, I cannot pretend to not feel the effect. It will do something to me. I may shout, but my voice will pay for it. So honor is the ability to know the difference between using a mic and not using a mic. You must know the effect on your life. There is a difference between living in the favor of God and living outside the favor of God. You cannot say it. No. There is a difference between obtaining help from God and running your life by your strength and by yourself. Those who have known have pieced together the principles and regardless of what men say, let me tell you my brothers and my sisters, learn this that I teach you tonight and watch the self-imposed prophecies of people fall to the ground. Even without saying any prayer on it. The immutability of God's counsel. 
backed up by his own name. There is no failure for a man who understands this law. If you ever see failure in a vision, it remains there in the vision. The laws of God will manipulate his life till he succeeds. Honor. One powerful law. This is why many men of God never rise. This is why many ministries never rise. It's not that they don't have revelation. They have many other things. But there's no honor. There are many things that will never rise. They have not trained themselves to know the difference between a good working family and a family that is not working. There are many people who will never be rich and wealthy because they have not discerned that there is a difference between a wealthy man and someone who is not wealthy. Many times we call the sacrifices of people luck or chance. Listen carefully. When you see a young man anointed, vibrant with fire and grace, you just say this guy was lucky. Maybe he just met a man of God and hands were laid on him. That perception that inability to see that people do not just rise by default you don't see a house built and you say wow the winds just put blocks together and added what what creativity from the wind no there are things that are too intentional to be a mistake are you getting what i'm saying now there are certain results that have gone past the realm of guesswork there is a level of excellence. There is a level of intention. There are certain levels of anointing that a man can possess that is no longer guesswork. You have to know what you are doing to get there. It's impossible to get there hoping. No, it's like Olympic or boxing. You fight somebody on the street and have an advantage, but you can't go to the ring and fight someone and convince yourself that all things are possible there is an art to winning in the ring there may not be arts to winning on the street but if you enter a boxing ring the person will tell you there are courses you take you understand anatomy the entire anatomy and physiology to know the parts you can punch and the effects that they create so he looks at you and you are already dead because he has seen all the loopholes and yet you just think he's looking with the eyes of a layman until he gives you punch then you will know that there is a difference between a boxer and a man it's amazing how many people look at successful people and sometimes they are even afraid for them ah, i hope he will not fail are you joking do you think success is that cheap success is built on absolutely intentional laws no great ministry is built just by intention please listen listen there is no great family as any good father mother and well-behaved children there is a level of family result that it cannot be luck cannot be luck when you come from a family that is tied into witchcraft and all of that there is a level of result that if you attain there are things that you have dealt with it's impossible to cross a certain threshold being under captivity everybody say oh no my assignment is to train your eyes to train your spirit to know that everything is not the same God is not the same as a shrine. So when you say choose between God and one shrine in your village, you don't have honor. It's dishonor. That perception, when they kept God, the ark, and they kept Dagon, God's jealousy made the difference clear immediately. It's not the issue of God. There's no point to prove you are still God. There's a point to prove. He made sure Dagon fell head on. There are times in life that there are points to prove. There are really points to prove. Is God helping us? Right now, there are people here who have traveled from so far. You have come because of one word, honor. You call it hunger, but it is still honor. Are we together now? Reverend Daniels and his dear wife, let's, let's bless God for them.
I mean, I was, I was in Eboyi. They are based in Enugu. Great ministry work there. I usually go to minister there. It was them together with some pastors that put the meeting in a boy. It was such a great, phenomenal meeting. And as soon as they were done, I returned back and I was surprised to see these people still here. It's called honor. The discernment that there can be more. You don't just act like that. You think first, do I need this level? Is it really important? With this level or without it, is there an effect in my life? There are things you must think about. If I'm poor or rich, will it create an effect? If your mind says you don't have honor, because you to think that being wealthy and being poor, any one of them can go, is a sign that you are oppressed. Because the Bible, listen, I'm not just talking about money, I'm opening your eyes to something so if a young man remains at a level spiritually and you don't contend for higher levels of grace and the anointing it is because you have not honored the relevance of that dimension of grace you have not perceived that to be greatly anointed is higher than being anointed how god anointed jesus not just that he was anointed how god anointed jesus of nazareth so contend for the anointing with an open heart is because you have discerned that the anointing is like money. It is the amount you have that will determine what you can buy. The grace of God upon your life will only solve the problems that are below it. Any challenge that is higher than that grace, you will not be able to purchase those spiritual realities. So the tension for spiritual growth is proof that you are honoring the anointing of the spirit at that level many of you are participating in this this prayer and fast now regardless of the inconvenience many people have been under all kinds of inconvenience yet you endure the name of what you are doing is honor because you know that after seven days you are going to carry something something that no devil will be able to stop and you weighed your convenience you weighed several things and you said the sacrifice was worth it honor it is honor that will make someone in need of a politician's help sit at his reception from 6 a.m in the morning and the man says i'm sorry i can't see you now can you be patient i'm i'm traveling but i'll come back by nine he says no problem and he sits down there for more than 13 hours and the man returns ah your excellency sir you are back because he knows that no matter how long I wait, it's cheaper than suffering. No matter how long I wait in that place, one favor from that man can change my life. A that foolish man will say, what is there? What is there? And you will go back to recycle your pain once again. We we'll apologize for the inconvenience. There's, there's wind blowing, especially for those outside. Everybody say honor. It is honor that teaches you that an elderly person is not the same as a young person that no matter how knowledgeable you are there is an advantage that time and age can provide to men are we together now yeah. the shunammite woman so i shall pass him every time elisha was not the only one who was passing every time but the bible says she perceived that guy mm -mm. there is this the fact that he was always passing meant that he was always under he was hearing god all the time and going to execute instructions and she perceived that this man's coming into my house can provide an advantage and she said i will not just tell him come to my house i will prepare for his coming so she she kept watching him every time she would see him carrying a book she didn't ask him what do you like books do you she kept perceiving and she went and prepared she simulated an environment that will suit him and say sir you are welcome and the man said all right madam you have brought me let me tell you what you brought what is your problem she said i don't have any i live among my people is to tell you the level to which she has shelved that case of having a child 
Elisha said, no, you don't bring this kind of grace and your life remains the same. It's an insult to the sacrifice that brought this anointing. I paid the price and I went to Gilgal. I went down to John. I got a double portion. I can't enter your house. You honored me and then I walk out. And then your gate man too enters and walks out. And then anybody, and what then is the difference of the sacrifice? I'm not one of the sons of the prophet. I follow through to the end. Madam, the, the, the grace is crying for him. Give it an assignment. He said, no, 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 no. I'm an influential woman. I love my people. And then he said, I will create one by myself. And the servant said, she doesn't have a child. He said, that's it. Notice she didn't ask for a child. She didn't pray for a child. She only ordered. And the honor found what problem it will solve by itself. There is a realm of honor that you get to that you will have to open your mouth and pray some things. Everybody kept lamenting about the hunger in Samaria. Ah, Samaria were in trouble. I said, you too, you felt the hunger. A bit. They said, yes. And out of all the people who were crying, the women and all the people, they noticed that two people were unaffected by that famine. The king and a strange man, he was not crying for bread. As if he was not a citizen there. And then when they, yeah, a whole nation is suffering and the solution is in the pocket of one man, yet he didn't pray. He just kept moving his thing around the city. This honor kept closing the door until someone provoked that grace, provoked that anointing. And he said, all right, by this time tomorrow. He didn't say, let me go and pray. And then I'll see the cloud. He said, by time. He didn't say, oh Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I stand as your servant and I call on heaven. He said, me, I make it happen. By this time tomorrow, let the gates of a nation be open. Your Bible. Honor is powerful. When you honor God, there are things God will do to you that all men will know is only God that can do this. God will do some things and sign his signature like Julius Berger will build and write B so that you will know the difference. So you don't confuse it and think someone else built it. God will build your life and write his name on it. So that when anyone looks at you and say, last year, were you not like this? You say, yes, it's not, I didn't build myself. I was built by an architect. You honor men, you have access to their heart, and with their heart will come their influence, their credibility, their resources. You put pressure on everything they are, and you will leverage on their credibility to rise. Let me tell you, your, your journey will be hard in life if you do not know how to honor men. All men are not the same. Are we together? Someone I know won an election. And as soon as the person won an election, she that works with him, just called me and said, he started jumping. Why was the person jumping? He didn't participate. He didn't do anything yet. Already, they've not sworn in that one, but he started jumping. Ah, God has buttered our bread. Because when you honor a man and have access to his heart, you don't have to rise. He just has to rise and you will follow him. Honor it will open doors for you that will surprise you. It will accelerate your life beyond your imagination. Please sit down, sit down. Let me show you for when I was studying this, it struck my heart and the Lord put it in my heart to show you. I'm going to show you four cases in the Bible where honor or dishonor played a role. And let's see what happened. Number one, just four, there are so many, and then I'll give you the and we'll pray. Someone's life is changing. I know this. I know this. Listen, this is one of the laws that you will see the result immediately. There are some laws that you may see the result later. This one, you can start seeing it from this night.
Genesis chapter 9 from verse 20. This was the issue of Noah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Noah and his sons. It says, and Noah began to be a husbandman and he planted a vineyard. We are reading to 27. And he drank of the wine and was drunken and covered within his tent. Now, there are all kinds of theological debates about this as to what this really meant. It's, it's not, it's not the, 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 the revelation of the context is not what I'm, I'm really interested. I want to show you something. And next verse. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told it to his tube without. 23. And Shem and ja took a garment, listen carefully, and laid it on both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness. 24 and noah awoke from wine and knew he was sleeping he was not told though he woke up and knew that his younger son he knew what had done to him 25 and he said cursed be canaan a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren 26 and he said Remember, he didn't know who did what. And he didn't say, all of you, come. Who saw the nakedness and who covered it? That means Noah was not annoying. A man that built an ark that all the animals entered. Is that an ordinary man? Notice how the Bible does not even talk about vineyard and the wine again. It just focuses on the curse and the blessing. He wakes up from his sleep. And just knows that many things happened while he was sleeping. The same way you can look at your father and say, my useless father. If only this man went to school. And while you are saying it, he's sleeping. But there are laws. Listen to me. Listen to what I'm telling you. These are laws and ordinary. None of the sons, he didn't call an assembly. And say, okay, tell me what happened. And he said, daddy, this is what happened. No. He got up and then he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Enan shall be his servant. 27. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. End of discussion. What was the offense? Dishonor. Someone dishonored Noah. Another person honored Noah. Two of them instantly got rewards for it. I told you honor is a seed. It's a seed that grows fast like a weed. Number two. Hmm. Now this one you have a lot to learn here. Genesis chapter 16. Ah, The Lord opened my eyes to see something there. Genesis chapter 16. This is the story of Sarah and Hagar. Please look up and learn something powerful here and now sarai abraham's wife beg him no child notice that all these stories start with something that looks like a problem and then in the midst of it the problem is forgotten and then the context of honor or dishonor is the discussion and he said and she had a handmaid an egyptian whose name was hagar verse 2 and Sarah said unto Abraham, Behold now, the Lord had restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go into my handmaid, that it may be that I may obtain children by her. Now you have to study in Jewish practice to know. This was not anything unusual at those times. Your brother's wife could bear children for you and maids and all of that. So, And Abraham hearkened to the voice of Sarah. Verse 3. Notice. And Sarah, Abraham's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, after Abraham had dwelt ten years and so on and so forth, and gave her to her husband, Abraham, to be his wife. Verse 4. And he went into Hagar and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes. Notice the story. This was a girl that was brought, and then he said, Thor, since i'm not able to give you a child let me not be too selfish that is because of me based on that tradition now here is my housemaid have a child with her and at the moment the lady noticed she was pregnant something happened next verse and sarah said unto abraham my wrong be upon me 
I have given my maid into thy bosom. And when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. Watch this. The Lord judged between me and thee. Next verse. But Abraham said to Sarah, Behold, thy maid is in thy hand. Do with her as it pleased thee. And Sarah dealt hardly with her. She fled from her face. Now get ready to learn the lesson. And the angel of the Lord. So Sarah drove Hagar now. Are you getting the story now? And the angel of the Lord found her by the fountain of water in the wilderness. By the fountain in the way of shore. Eight. And he said, listen. Hagar, Sarah's maid. When comest thou? What did the angel call her? Sarah's maid. We know the protocol even from the spirit. Just because you have a child, I will call you by that ordinance. You are still Sarah's maid. Your lifting was connected to Sarah. And even though you have left, the realm of the spirit still recognizes that this lifting was tied Sarah. He says, Whence camest thou? And whither wilt thou go? And she said, I flee from the face of my mistress Sarah. Look at this. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, What did he say? Return to thy mistress and submit yourself under her hands. In other words, madam, there's no hope for your situation. Honor has closed the door. Not even me. My recommendation is go back. Let that submission be in place. Otherwise, I'm meeting you here. I would see go like that. This is Bible. Return to your mistress and submit yourself to her. Last verse. <laughs> And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed exceedingly, that it shall not be numbered for multitude. Go back. Every other thing is still tied to that. Go back and submit yourself. Look at this kind of story. A woman is running away and an angel meets her. And she's complaining that this wicked, and the Bible testifies that Sarah truly dealt with her hardly. He would have said, go and tell Sarah you saw me. I, the angel of the Lord, has said she should mind herself. And he says, go back to your mistress. I'm showing you very deep spiritual. You will now know why Elisha received the mantle. Number three. Numbers chapter 12. Follow me believers. And let's grow in the spirit. Numbers chapter 12 this involved relatives now relatives relatives because this honor happens a lot with family and so relatives and miriam and aaron spoke against moses because of the utopian the word utopian means black woman whom he had married for he had married an utopian woman verse 2 and they said had the lord now they now digress and started saying does god speak to moses alone had the lord indeed spoken only by moses and had he not also spoken by us i hope you know miriam is a prophetess that means she was hearing god and aaron was a priest too so they are saying why i mean moses what are you saying i am a prophetess and this guy is a priest us too here and there we are hearing god and the lord had it and the lord had it what conversation two of them were talking you no know? and while they were talking god said let me see what i saying and the lord had it next verse now the man moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth verse 4 and the lord speaks suddenly to moses hey god comes to hear something and goes back and say moses come Something is about to happen to two of your relatives now. Let me inform you so that you don't beg me. I'm the one who is going to do it now. God knew what Moses can do. And he knows if Moses talks, he will interrupt the process. He's collecting permission from Moses to deal with certain people here. And Moses and unto Aaron and Miriam, come out ye three to the tabernacle of the congregation. And three of them came out. Three of them hear God, remember. So now verify that they all hear God. Because God called three of them and all of them had. Next verse. 
and the lord came down in the pillar of cloud and stood in the door of the tent and called aaron and miriam and they both came forward and and he said hear now my words if there be a prophet among you i the lord will make myself known to him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream seven hi my servant moses is not so who is faithful in all my house one day i will explain to you what god just said next verse with him i will speak mouth to mouth that look look you people receive visions and dreams but i've left that realm with moses i don't just i come to him my level of relationship with moses is that i come to him and speak from my mouth to his mouth and not in dark speeches and in similitudes of the lord shall he behold wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against not me my servant moses next verse and the anger of the lord was kindled against them and he left next verse and the cloud departed from off the tabernacle and behold miriam became leprous white as snow and aaron looked upon miriam and behold she was leprous 11. next verse and aaron said unto moses alas my lord the adjustment happened immediately i don't know what i called you before but after seeing this class alas my lord i beseech thee was this not what haman did to esther when it was imminent that he was going to die i beseech thee lay not the sin upon us wherein we have done foolishly and wherein we have sinned i told you dishonor is a sin next verse let her not be as one dead of whom the flesh is half consumed and when he cometh out of his mother's womb 13 and moses you see why god came to moses before and moses now said god oh yeah come come i've, I've looked at this and moses cried unto the lord saying heal her now oh god i beseech thee look at a man talking with god oh not oh god heal her now god is okay don't 14 and the lord said to moses if her father had but spit in her face should she not be ashamed seven days he says let her be shot out from the camp seven days and after that let her be sieved in again last verse miriam was shot out of the camp seven days and the people journeyed not until miriam was brought in again you can continue she later recovered but i'm saying just because a man that god loved the jealousy of god came down dishonor the same way you can honor a man in secret he's not even aware and god will also hear it and see it and god will arise and deposit something upon your life are you getting blessed very powerful the last scripture and then i'll show you certain keys second kings chapter 2 second kings chapter 2 from verse 3 elisha was in in the heat of the anointing the portion anointing that just rested on him now this one now had to do with children sometimes ba is really really strange this is children and he went forth from thence on to Bethel and as he was going by the way there came forth what little children should they not be spared little children there came forth little children out of the city and mocked him saying go up thou bald head go up thou bald head 24 and he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of the lord and there came forth two shares out of the wood and tear 40 and two of them he cursed them in whose name is it not the same god that said the lord is gracious and compassionate slow to anger but rich in love small children what an adult ah, no problem these are little children they are learning and yet he turns to them and curses them in the name of the lord and bears come out and injure and children 
think how many things honor can do in your life and how many things dishonor can do in your life dishonor to the law of giving alone has kept a lot of people poor dishonor to productivity has kept a lot of people seeing visions of wealth that will never actualize let me tell you this please listen and this is a message to the body of christ there is a growing trend of many young vibrant ministers especially apostles and prophets all around the nation of africa and the world who because of civilization and the context of our understanding today are consistently violating this calling the name of every man of god tearing men of god down in the name of i know this i know that destroying all kinds of people let me tell you the laws of god are irrefutable it's only a matter of time you will see grave consequences the people i pity are the children of these people not even them they are endangering their children not knowing and some of you here have been victims of it you stand whether on social media whether whatever tear down anybody insult anybody you see a rich man getting private jet you write nonsense online stupid criminals we are coming for you you see a man anointed and the next thing you are saying something really nasty how are we sure it's the power of god and while that is happening god is hearing he's bringing down because the covenant of that man with god has a voice it's an altar that is maintained by sacrifice please listen very carefully i'm teaching you powerful spiritual principles many shop owners have insulted everybody succeeding as though is the reason why they are not succeeding and their shop started down and notice that the more they pray the more it goes down because that trouble didn't come from satan so there is nothing to cast there i've seen men of god who went down and their voices almost never heard again because of the level the pungency of their criticizing all kinds of people today everybody right now is an analyst of the body of christ analyzing what is happening analyzing who is anointed analyzing this and that is dangerous listen to me listen to me these are spiritual principles nobody rose up just like that is the same way they criticize william branham just because things went bad at the end of his and all of that people would tear down people had written all kinds of books and his grace is not speaking around the body of christ because of that pungency listen very carefully those who may not have crowd will tear down anybody says the issue of crowd what is their membership sometimes those things come from a standpoint of sarcasm and God, who is the one who brings men is hearing and then we secretly go back and we say god must we remain like this and god say me i'm the force behind this lack of growth how many unemployed people will see someone and say what are you doing now he said, I'm working in one school. He said, ah, you. It's better to have been making a kunu and zobo to sell. You mean you are right there. You see that? You think it's a joke. But God is hearing. That you have never submitted your CV and gotten a job. And someone without submitting his CV, he got a job. I agree that he's getting 4,000. But because we have learned dishonor. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes our lives we continue to web our lives with all kinds of strings of dishonor there are people who have refused to rise because of this one reason dishonor honor is the key to access and they never access grace they never access wisdom there are many wealthy people in this city for instance and there are not many people who have gone to sit down and say i came to visit you sir is there one or two things you can teach me say no everybody's a thief everybody's an arm robber and they continue to re-impart upon themselves that level forever please listen to what i'm teaching you those who have understood this have risen in ways that you cannot imagine
happy are you when God carries the heart of a man and gives to you that God connects you huh? to the heart of a man through honor is somebody learning something so when you master honor when you learn honor you will see doors opening by themselves there are men of God who were invited to certain places once and will never go back there again because they did not understand the principle of honor to these systems when they and took advantage of anything and just tore everybody down there are some of you who come to the houses of great people and you destroy your opportunity for connection forever you come to a house and you cross your leg you put it on a chair and you just balance and the next thing uh what, what would you like uh, i don't take too much pepper what exactly do you have let me know what you have and the person who is for is just an example the person who is talking is poor and doesn't have any open door are you seeing that now let me tell you this if doors refuse to open i am telling you this it is dishonor that has kept it closed I never see any man or woman that is worthy of honor and will not communicate the honor that is due because I know the consequence. There are many people in this city who would have been long healed by now. There are many people who would have been long delivered by now. But this honor is the gate and the padlock the devil used to keep them in their situations forever. You can pray, you can fast, but there are certain realms you cannot enter except through honor. Honor is the seed for access. The Lord by honor and by it has taken me to places today that I know there is no reason and there is no other way I would have gotten there. What honor can do is powerful. My brothers and my sisters, listen to me. You will step into prepared blessings when you understand honor. honor to God honor to men honor to principles I'm not teaching you human worship now let me tell you this and, and let me balance it very quickly it is foolish and stupid of any great man especially a man of God when people show you honor and you take them for granted any wise person who knows God and has value for life will not take you for granted when you honor them what I'm saying now yes There are things people do to me that I'm, if I have my way, I will beg them and say, please, don't, don't even, please. I'm okay. I know you honor me from your heart. The Lord bless you. Let's leave it like that. But that you dishonor men and you want to rise, every realm you dishonor, you've exempted yourself from entering that realm. Whether it's financially, whether it's spiritually or otherwise. See, listen, this is why you find out that you continue to dishonor people and secretly try to enter that realm. And there is a resistance that no prayer will take away. Apostle, you don't know what my father did to me. My, my father is not a nice man. You don't know what my mother did. These people left me. I would have died. I would have gone into prostitution. I paid school fees by myself. Now they think that I should come and bless them. Listen, let me tell you. They may not have gotten it well, but it is no license for dishonor. They may do everything wrong, but one day they will do something right. Pay for that one day. Because the blessing you will get the day they get it right will follow you transgenerationally hallelujah i pay attention there are ministries that honor me so much and honor me truly and i have seen the effect when i teach and share god's word in those places i see the result i know that the honor is sincere and you will see that those people receive those people rise those people grow that's why in many churches it is us that come and receive most members hardly you know why because they know the pastor they know the elder maybe he's even their biological father so when he's preaching and he says everybody stretch forth your hands you just laugh and say daddy you will soon be hungry now i'm the one who prepares your meal 
and then God will hear you how many wives dishonor their husbands because they are already married Sam Cop. they think that just because they are married they dishonor when they get married they do all kinds of things nice two weeks after the marriage the man is just one one item I am joined with forever and God is hearing because the possibilities and the grace of that man will speak to every other person except the wife the same thing with the woman men will get married to women and think they are just rags the bible says submit go and do this whereas the man is not prayerful and that lady came as the reason even god told you that she's the reason why you are succeeding then the day you annoy her everything fails you go to god and god says like he told hagar go back you may not submit to the woman but you must submit to that possibility if you want a revival of that dimension are you getting what i'm saying now this is true i am a product of what honor can do i am a product of what honor can do i am a product of what honor can do listen you will not be able to dig every well by yourself no matter how hard working you are your lifetime is too small to dig those wells there are wells that have already been dug those wells like jacob's well will last generations use honor as a fetcher to draw and draw again enough to feed you and feed a generation jesus went to a city and could not do mighty miracles what simple is this not the carpenter's son but there was a blind man when he was passing jericho for the last time he says thou son of david have mercy he didn't say can you have mercy mm -mm. i know you have it have mercy oh you won't pass me have mercy and jesus said what should i do for you that i may regain my sight and his eyes open I continue to search for dishonor around my life so that I will correct it very fast. I tell you, any door that is closed, there's something, there is an element of dishonor that may be there. If you are sincere, why, oh God, am I surrounded by anointed people and I can never carry real grace? Dishonor. Why am I surrounded by wealthy people and I continue to remain poor dishonor why am I surrounded by wise people and I continue to be foolish again and again why am I surrounded by people who are on fire and there's no revelation they give you any scripture you can't say anything about it notice the gate men of men of God notice the chefs they don't have any revelation as if all they came to do was to cook can't you see the visitors that you are cooking for their lives are being changed and you continue to serve the food and receive tips whereas one day you say sir this chef i'm 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 is, is passion but i need results i've served your food now but i need something are you getting what i'm saying when i meet extremely great people i don't waste that time i don't sit down and say and sometimes ah my apostle great man and great this i just find a forum where we're alone and find a seat and say sir i decide i don't just say pray for me that's a stupid approach that's not honor you will never receive anything that way you must discern i know the difference between you and me the results show it i am not there yet simple and straightforward and i beckon on whatever grace that brought this result and with a passionate heart they will release everybody that has something knows it and they know when it leaves them to you hallelujah praise the lord this ministry is enjoying the blessings of the body of christ because of the honor of the body of christ i say this with all blessings we don't have a youtube channel as it were I don't know if the media has that but there is almost no message you will type and you will not find someone took it as a responsibility without payment it is because a sinner was sown and so it was sown to the body 
and the harvest also came from the body are you getting what i'm telling you now when it was time to for the sick here this morning many of you came and you watched a benihim video first it doesn't mean i'm not anointed to pray for you but i know from whence you see let me tell you a river that forgets its source truly speaking you will dry up it's a matter of time you will dry up to nonsense and and not know where you came from again our proud generation continues to have results for a while and then it will disappear because the moment you have results most times people don't know the difference again somebody trained you in business now you have become a millionaire and you come to meet the person in the shop bros are you there you are an apprentice there and you come with your g wagon and smile you have a g wagon i have a g wagon don't harass me i just came back from italy that's a foolish man one day you will not know the explanation why things will go down and you will go to god and he will give you the recommendation of hagar go back you are a great man but in the realm of the spirit you are still sarah's maid the law of honor the law of honor i shared with you my story that i wanted to go to the u.s to go and scrub the toilet of charles and francis hunter as a man of god not to go for a conference not to say just to let you know that there is a young man all the way from nigeria he's by the name joshua selman he's my humble self is that humility I was going to scrub the toilet not to go as a man of God oh I would have gladly scrubbed that toilet Lord whatever grace will make a man to raise hundred wheelchairs in one meeting laugh at it whatever grace this is the law of honor many people don't know how to receive miracles and I talk like this, you would think it's arrogance. If I get up in the morning with my eyes blind by 6 p.m., that eyes must have been open. The desperation to receive is not there. Many people are too ashamed to really receive. The woman with the issue of blood said, Get out of my way. I'm the one who knows what I'm suffering. Shift, let me touch the hem of his garment. And the people were trying to embarrass her. No, let me touch the hem of his garment she was healed don't violate this ordinance let me give you a few keys our time is gone we should pray I pray in the name of Jesus that you will value this that I shared with you and you will watch how easy life can be keys to honor one wisdom there cannot be honor until there is wisdom you need a deposit of deep stone to manifest honor wisdom to know the protocol of greatness vashti was a foolish woman for one reason she lacked wisdom it was her wisdom that culminated to dishonor that made her pay the price there is no record of Vashti going back to beg the king. She forgot she was only queen because she married the king. Are we together? No wisdom. The king called on her to his chamber to come and flaunt the glory. And she said, no, I have my own agenda. And the elders came and said, king, do something about this woman. If not, other women will start doing the same thing. And the king said, Vashti, you are gone when sarah came study the book of sarah and see honor personified what most people see there is favor you are seeing the child look at the mother look at how the pregnancy started until the child called favor was born she meets the king on hearing that a wicked man called her man wants to destroy the people of god and the king said esther what do you want to half of my kingdom she said nothing Oh king would you grant me the honor of hosting you to a banquet he said that is it 
is there any problem she said no yet there was an emergency lives were about to be she knew that in dealing with greatness timing matters not every time is the time you can just see your destiny help and say anything for the boys immediately he planned to give you a job because of that he will vow that your children's children will not get a job timing there are many people as soon as you see a great man the next thing you come sir uh, anything for us sir whereas the man was about to ask you young man what do you do we are looking for a secretary is it all right if we send you to our dubai office and you foolishly come with mediocrity and say sir you are looking as if i'm not sorry but will you go like that you see stop that every time you see a great man your first element is not to beg listen to me and learn many young people continue to mess up you want one thousand they will give you one thousand yet you have lost access to their hearts are we together Esther now tells the king let me host you he said all right let me come and try and Esther prepared a permit me to use the word a wicked banquet when the king asked this she came again he said now I'm ready is there any request say no sir just grant me the privilege of doing this again and then another time she now said now I want it to be a feast of wine you know wine is a spirit in the Bible she's about to make a request and she's making a request against the closest friend of the king what if the king says you want me to fight my friend I will kill you she knew the timing there was something that needed to happen for him because her man was his right hand man so when the king took the wine he was filled with that wine and he sat down and then she came what do you want esther and she said oh king there is a man who that wants to destroy me your one and only queen and my woman he said who is that he said that is the man that stands by your side wise king he left and went to a garden he didn't answer yet he left and went to the garden because the word of a king is a law and he said let me think first let me not talk foolishly will this decision be honorable many times silence is proof of wisdom you don't have to be under pressure to answer everything is god helping someone today do sweep it do it again by the second day do it again by the third day very soon somebody will call you and say why are you doing this you say well i i plan to have this kind of thing i'm a responsible person i have learned on i just feel i should do this every great man knows greatness when it even if it is in infancy they will look and say mm -mm, you they will make you a manager they'll say okay keep sweeping a wise man will not call you immediately he will test the sincerity of your honor you'll say continue doing it just to know you are not a thief that's all and then he says watch this person and for six months you will sweep with nobody saying thank you but on the seventh day of ah, you know how bible talks you will come to sweep and see a car with a key and a letter inside open me say ah, i won't do this so i'm not a thief and you open it and that's the prayer request of someone for 10 years there is a key to every territory it's called honor you are sandwiched between people who are greater than you and people who you are greater than if you keep receiving honor from those who are greater than everybody will reach your level and leave you 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 have to keep rising too while you bring others up are you getting what i'm telling you yes there is no program that is done in this ministry that i will not sow into it this ministry is a blessed ministry but even at that i must look for something and sow into it principle When your prayer life goes down is dishonor because it's proof that you are trying to show god you are the lord of your own life and he's watching you get up in the morning you yawn your way through a life you return back by the mercy of god and you will not understand that he kept you you will continue on till the day keke almost capsizes you and then you remember the scripture it is vain to wake up early and sleep night only to eat the bread of sorrow but it is god that gives men sleep and rest he will return back and say god i don't know what entered me but i'm back oh no 
we are going to pray wisdom number two let me rush it i apologize for taking our time this night the second key to honor is forbearance you cannot practice honor if all you have is forgiveness forbearance is a deeper dimension forbearance means it will happen again so you wire it into your system of honor that this person I honor is a noise maker. I don't like noise, but I have to prepare my mind to hear noise all the It's called forbearance. Adaptation is proof of honor. The greater one will not be the one to be flexible and adjust to you. You are the one who will have to stretch yourself. Are we together? Forbearance. Many of you cannot forbear great people let me give you a very big secret great people are difficult people the complexity around the systems that work in their life will not only need wisdom it will need forbearance there are many yes as you have to say without knowing what you are doing forbearance I'm not a fool. I can't continue to do a mumu in this office. I'm fighting for my right. And they say, open the gate for him. Please leave this place. After two months, you find out that you had one stream of income coming by the mercy of God. And an erratic dishonor of five minutes is costing your children school fees. Forbearance. Everybody say forbearance. A lot of Pentecostals have lost graces in the Orthodox circle because they don't have the forbearance you go to an anglican church and there's a long hymn you check how many verse stanzas six and the man leading will tell you when we get to verse five we'll sing it again he's enjoying what he said and you are you are sad you are you are nauseated you are angry you are already offended you're off by everything the chance and all of that whereas there was a grace there for you to get to forbear to forbear to forbear is not to forgive to forbear is to wire yourself to update everything number three the third key to honor is to pray for those you seek to receive from you don't pray for a man you seek to receive from you will not get anything let me tell you many people don't pray for those who they seek to receive from just by praying for them alone job 42 and verse 10 you pray for those who have gotten the friends of job were not oppressed he was wealthier and greater than them but with respect to his predicament they had become greater than him and he had to submit to honor them by investing prayer job 42 and verse 10 he says the lord turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends not himself number four genuinely celebrate those you honor not eye service not ah bless god for papa Oyedepo. bless god for papa and then you go to one godless discussion of three or four people he said don't mind all these fathers of faith i'm so disappointed I, I i hate them more it's just that if you say it now they will beat you so that's the real truth i really hate them but it's just that outside let me honor them no like noah they may be asleep but they are still seeing and they are still hearing and they will wake up and know who said what and who didn't say what sight happens whether you are asleep or awake paul was blind for three days yet he was seeing visions celebrate celebrate a ministry that is blessing you celebrate it a life that is blessing you celebrate that life genuinely celebrate them finally love the last key to genuine honor is love you cannot honor a man a principle a system and even the god that you do not love 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 I love the body of Christ. I love koinonia. I love the workers. I love the leaders from the depth of my heart. And it has nothing to do with selfishness. I 
I wish we had time. I wish we had time. I wish we had time. Do you know the Bible says, listen carefully. All that I've said about honor suggests to higher authorities. But that's only one dimension of honor. Because you also have to honor people prophetically who are about to rise. You don't just honor those who have risen. They have plateaued and you have seen it. But there are people who are about to rise. You will need discernment. 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 Many of us will dishonor everybody lower than you. And everybody who cannot give you anything. Sam, what do you have to offer? Nothing. I, please, you are not worth my honor. Emeka, you are a doctor. I, I need injection because I don't know where my leg is. Like I don't. I, I honor you. Wonderful except for the fact that you have registered your exit from sam's life before he rises the moment he rises he rises with you he has noted you that you qualify for exit from his life so the secret therefore and the jackpot is to honor all men because god is the lifter of men my brothers and my sisters you can you see me or little children here they come and match my cloth and sometimes the protocol wants to stop them. I say, leave it to this debt they are matching. They will buy the soap tomorrow. They have the ability. There are many of you who cannot play with children. There are many who you, you, you can dishonor and oppress anybody lower than you. Once anybody is higher than you, you can lie down and roll on the ground. But when there is anybody who doesn't have anything as a yet to give to you, you destroy them. You are making a big mistake the key to owning the future is to honor those who god is lifting for the future and jimmy will say it this way find a man who is rising and in that life listen let me tell you this you know there are many people who believe that just because they knew you and they were connected you it means they are stakeholders no connection is not enough to be a stakeholder it must translate from a connection to an event relationships that are investments are the relationships that are worth maintaining an ordinary connection is not worth it an investment of time of resources imagine the people that knew you they don't know what god is doing in your life now they are looking at the you of five years and there is nothing comely there except for the fact that it will be like the twinkling of an eye one day they will be following on facebook and say ah, who is this you as though they ask god not to lift you and then you suddenly rise and you watch the way they casually and shamelessly call you it is so 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 and so call me back quickly no the person you want to call is not there again this is a newer version if your relationship was not an investment that could grow then it didn't yield anything are you getting what i'm saying the easiest way to prosper is through relationships but relationship as an investment not a connection this is already a preview of tomorrow relationship as an investment not a connection this is what reverend dan and his wife are doing these are general overseers they left a boy and they left enugu not only to come and receive let me tell you it's not every time you need to receive there are times that you have to invest whether you are comfortable or not politicians know this business people know this someone will leave kenya and leave south africa to come for the birthday party of a two-year-old baby what has the baby done for him what of the hand that holds the baby that's where his paycheck comes from Are we together so the woman with the alabaster box discerned that this man will one day be the king of kings and i have a terrible life what can i do to edge my relationship in this man's life and she took a a, a, a what they call it a box spike nut a year's wages and she did something she knew it would not be easy for any other person to do she smashed it at his feet and used her hair and Jesus said, anytime you are talking about me and the gospel, you must make reference to this woman. When we get to heaven, you will know that you will not just see the difference. It's in the Bible. I mean, it's in the Bible. There are rankings based on relationships.
relationship. Listen to your Bible. The elders in heaven there, the 24 living creatures, what did they do to God? That keeps them in the throne. The angels in the throne. They only and get messages and leave. But there are creatures that stay. from connections to investments you send a text may God bless you daddy may God bless you mommy they don't reply continue an investment you do returns immediately but it's working the day they are looking for good people to bless your sacrifice is too much you to be ignored hallelujah there are several men of God that is difficult for me to tell them no even when my schedules are already booked, if they do come, I will try to tell them, find a way. Even if it's a weekday, let's squeeze. Even if it's one day, no problem. Let me honor them. Because of what they have done. There are people when I see their missed calls, provided I have the time, even if it's two minutes, I can even squeeze and just send a text and say, I'm sorry. I may not be able to talk to you now, but I'll reply you. All the debt it forces you to pay back we are gathered here for seven days and if God does not change our lives you can activate this system try it this night write down the five or ten people in your life that are most deserving of your honor and write down the top ten people in who make you a big deal anybody that makes you a big deal don't trivialize them because the whole world does not have that level of honor. If you make me a big deal, I will invest into your life. Make God a big deal and see what he does to you. Is somebody learning now? Yes. When you find anybody in your life that thinks you are somewhat celebrating and makes you a big deal, be wise enough to separate them. And let me tell you this. Never give people access beyond their last level of honor. Don't make your life that cheap. As you give people access, watch for the honor that follows. If the closer they get, the more the honor goes down. Stop there. Stop from the last place of honor and remain there. God is the one who prescribed this. What you do in my parlor may qualify you for my kitchen. May qualify you for my bedroom then may qualify you to my safe you don't come from the gates there are visitors that you look through the pigeon hole and say why are you here say i just need help you squeeze one thousand say please go it's not it's not insult it's the level of relationship there are others you can open the gate and say okay what is it you say can't we get a shade mm, you have not that shade you see has a, a dimension there are others you say you are welcome there are others you say you are welcome as far as you want don't believe that everybody has the same access listen to me anybody that dishonors you don't fight them but peg them at the last place of honor and keep it there until there is a reason to transit and some of them sadly sadly may be people in ministry people in whatever kind of thing refuse that Is someone learning this otherwise you would destroy yourself somebody will come and meet you and say give me a business advice you gave him a business advice yesterday and the person trivialized it made nonsense out of it when he was teaching it he didn't give credit and honor to you and felt it was not an issue then he says give me another one you say no no let your honor qualify you for the next access when you find people who the closer they come to you the higher the honor treasure them they are an endangered species the world does not have many of such people these are kingdom secrets my brothers and my sisters you should share the grace tonight knowing that a real key was given to you go to your office tomorrow and you see people who are undeserving of your honor and you will see the mistakes you have been making you told people secrets about your life. 
secrets about your family secrets about your destiny secrets about certain things and they have no fortitude for honor everybody say honor this is a powerful law powerful law to the degree to which you honor God he will bring you into his inner chambers he will say come let me show you the things you will not hear in a congregation come my son let me show you my ways these are the secrets of the Lord that are with them that fear him and he will show you not his principles his covenants There are many of us we would have received certain things from our parents and our loved ones but sadly some of them went to the grave with secrets they never told you because this honor made it difficult to get it across to you if this is all you know you have found something that can make you great god loves everybody but not everybody is his friend read your bible he didn't say you all are my friends mm -mm. i died for you yes you are my children yes i'm your lord yes but there are people he says you are my friend moses come to talk with you how are you today and he talks back to him he came in the cool of the day to talk to adam and talk to eve when this honor happened he said that's it i preach we're going to pray this night lord i found the key i found the key this is the kind of meeting that afterwards you will send your pastors tonight and say pastor sir let me teach you how to honor in one minute many of you don't know how to honor god bless you for me sir it's not honor there are many people who have blessed my life just to let you know you are one of them that's foolishness that's not honor the goal of honor is to show someone that you perceive their uniqueness and the extent of their impact so you are going to within the context of the honor isolate them and give them an experience that will make you remain desirable in their eyes are we together just you know i'm blessed by your message commanding result thanks that's not honor that's expression honor must carry your discernment through it transfer your discernment to words and communicate it Sam I just want to let you know that I am grateful there are so many worshipers and so people but there's something about your voice and the grace of God upon your life every time you raise that song my spirit is lifted the other day you raised a song you didn't know what I was what was happening to me that's honor he may forget what you said but he will mark your face the next time he sees your face he will associate it with pleasantness and you become his friend there are people whose personal reflect pungency people avoid you because of a track record of what your persona and your face creates in people it must change that one is not an evil veil is a self-inflicted veil as a result of not discerning the law of honor every time i see this my children they honor me and you see how i i hug all of them from the depth of my heart there was one day one of the other ones wanted to just come and hug and pat me in the back and i drew his ears i said don't do that again you are a child when you grow we will let you know you have grown now you are a child when you are hug hug with respect You will be doing it because of my ego. It's a training. If not, you will lose touch. With Don't be afraid to correct people. Really love them. Sometimes we think that when you correct people, it's a proof of insecurity. Let them not say maybe they are rising. No. What then is the... If when you have labored over people, you are a stakeholder over their growth. There's nobody staying under my roof and under my care, physically or spiritually, that will go out of the boundary of discipline and correction no you choose to be a fugitive like a prodigal son you will go but provided you are within that house there is a level of decorum that you should have is god blessing us yes teach your children to honor let a grown child not come and slap a visitor 
hold him knock his head in front of the visitor and say the bible says honor your father and your mother forget the cry that is happening the message is getting in whenever you see a man that has done what you have not done don't think it was a mistake have the fortitude to give that respect those who those who fight kung fu you go to most of these places where they fight kung fu these temples you will see bruce lee's picture is still there they stand and they respect it before they start fighting man is long gone but they say don't deceive yourself that because you're a black belter you are bruce lee bruce lee was in a class of his own Or there are bills no there are people every man of god is the same same holy spirit same god until your results prove otherwise honor does not kill honor does not reduce honor multiplies honor fast tracks listen to me my dear ladies let me tell you this master honor and you would have mastered the key to any man's heart gentlemen let me teach you this master honor will master the key to both the hands and the resources and the credibility of any man there are people i can endorse and i can stake my reputation even if they are wrong i will step in for them because they have communicated honor hallelujah tonight we will open doors that have been closed hallelujah and doors that satan opened by himself will close both him and the door and close them out forever both him and the door it's only when you are seeing a visitor that he can harass you when you close him and the door he goes out forever hallelujah oppressions of the devil tonight is the night when you say lord i will step up everybody is announcing say god is blessing jakes is announcing and say god is opening doors i'm sure that there are some families who are here seated they are even doubting and say god will you really do this this night some of you invited your family members some of you outside while you're listening some people are even doubting and say will god really change my story because one prophet or one apostle spoke like this oh some months ago you watch what god will do tonight for you won't go back you can't go back to the way you used to be before your presence came and changed There is a name that has been given unto us. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The exalted son of the living God. Greater than every herbalist. Greater than every sickness in your body. Greater than every medical condition. I like you. See, tonight is the night you will stamp medical reports. And say, I stamp you. It is the time for your genotype to change. It's the time for the anointing of the spirit to walk in your life. Why is it not you? Why not see? Listen, listen. There are some of you that like receiving for others. You have trained your faith to receive for others. So when the word is coming like this, you just exempt yourself. Why not you? Ask your neighbor, say, why not you? Say it. Why not you? What is wrong with God prospering you? What is wrong with God changing your story? Is it a sin if your family celebrates a new car? Must they die like that? They already love God. Is it a crime for God to bless your family? I'm speaking to someone here. Is it a crime that they dedicate a house and stop being harassed by landlords? Is it that God cannot do it? If a rich man promises you now, you will start dancing. But God is here giving you an open check tonight. Some of our parents have been working for 14 years, 15 years. Because they will not compromise, they have refused to promote them. And he's telling on many of you. 
your parents are already becoming hostile to everyone at home tonight we have come to change these things some of you have received all kinds of devilish prophecies over your life they've said you will not amount to anything but i have a shock for satan tonight you know when you have a present you first bring it out you don't know what is inside but you know there's a present you will make a table before you in the presence of your enemies like Haman, they are the ones who will orchestrate your victory as you ride upon that horse. See, in case you don't know, if you are a visitor here, let me tell you a few things. We deal ruthlessly with Satan in this place. Are you listening to me? Because we identify him to be the source of men's failure and predicaments in life. He said the enemy. The Bible calls him a thief. Anything that a thief has is not his own. Where did he get it from? Answer me. Where did he get it from? From who? The owner. The Bible calls him a thief. He has stolen the joy of some people and some families. There are many of you now. Your families are at the verge of divorce. Your father has not spoken to your mother for years because one woman in the village said all kinds of rubbish tonight. Some of you, your loved ones have been missing. You even thought they are dead. They will come back. Oh yes. He shouted the voice of Lazarus and in hell Lazarus had it. Your own, they've not gone to hell yet. They will hear this night. Tonight, every stubborn spirit that exists on the earth that is at work in everyone will be released tonight. Because when we did the teaching about destiny helpers, do you know that there are human beings that have the art of allowing themselves to host demons and cause catastrophe for others? Oh, in case you don't know, know it now. When Jesus was born, he suddenly found out that they were looking for him to kill him. Questions are, who did he offend? Oh, don't offend me. Don't offend you. <clears throat> Paul and Angel said, this, the earth is a battleground, not a playing a football field. That my change will come tonight. That my change will come tonight. I won't give up, Lord, I won't give up, I'll keep pressing on, till my answer comes, if there is such an anointing, I won't give up, higher. Lord, I won't give up, I'll keep pressing on. Those of you who have been marked by the spirit of death who will cause it out of your life are you listening to me one more time look at your prayer request for the very last time and i mean business ushers please get set because we'll collect the prayer requests so that when we start we don't need to be interrupted speak to it any goodbye forever. I've waited for this time. Pack your load out of my life. Uh -huh. You are not reciting a poem. You are prophesying. He says, son of man, prophesy. Son of man, prophesy. Look at it for the last time. And say, Jesus, I believe in you. You are greater than this report. You are greater than this challenge. Tonight it will answer to your name. If it doesn't respect me, it will respect the name of Jesus. Now begin to pray in tongues as you pass that prayer request to the last person at the aisle. Outside, do it quickly. Just pass it to the last person at the aisle. Ushers, direct them, please. Quickly. Shata rabala kata branda kalabosa. Rem brete gete kat shaprasta la kata. Shara bakata balaraba. 
This is the confidence that I have in you whenever I call you will answer This is the confidence that I have in you whenever I call you This is my confidence, Lord. This is my confidence that I have in you. Whenever I go, you will handsome me. This is the confidence. minute I'd like you to pray for your loved ones say Lord from here let this unction lead to their homes make sure you are praying call them by name call them by name they are not as anointed as you are standing for them call them by name call them by name say Lord for my sister call them by name your name must answer to them. Kata balata, rata parikata, leke borosotaya. Call them by name. Say I release an unction to my home. I release angels. Lord, as you are doing it here, do it here. As for me and my house and my house. Pray for them. Lagos, Abuja, Maiduguri, Bauchi State, Yobe, Zamfara, Koki, wherever. Do a miracle, oh God. Do a miracle, oh God. I know you will do it. I know you will do it. Raise the dead. Change their status. Hallelujah. Now, hallelujah. There's someone that had been on my mind. Even while I was traveling back today, I was thinking about the person. He came all the way from, I think, Yobe, Sale. Where is he? Please come. The Lord will begin with you tonight. ushers position yourself inside and outside because there will be a rain in this place hallelujah listen you will be set free where did you come from from Bauchi. Yes. I want you to know that God will do a miracle in your life. Amen. You believe that? Yes, I believe. You came full of faith. Yes. The Lord will set you free right now Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that devil, come out of him right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, just breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. I set you free right now. 
and the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Listen. Please. I want to see those who have heart conditions. You came here. Hear me outside, please. We don't have time to waste. We are not going to have to mention cases individually. But when, when we call your case, please run out. We are going to pray and see as far as God wants to finish fast so that we'll end quickly heart conditions leave your seat and come out here quickly either a hole in the heart or an abnormal heart formation quickly quickly appreciate them as they line up here ushers coordinate them heart conditions please come and line up here quickly that devil is a liar heart condition growing up they told you you have a heart condition Come out and line up here. Come out and line up here. No matter how old you are or how young you are. Please line up. Line up. Straight line. Line up. Usher, direct them, help them. Hallelujah. As you're standing here, I'd like you to wait bye bye to it. Because I know the unction of the spirit is here. God will set you free. Baba, God will set you free, sir. And everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, sirs, we'll minister quickly. We'll just minister to them. Hallelujah. Praise God. I tell you, there is an unusual unction in this place. As hands are laid on you. Hallelujah. Return back thanking the Lord and check. If you are still seated in the crowd, and you know you have a heart condition don't sit back there God wants to change your story hallelujah there's someone who has an unusual palpitation I don't know what it is you the way you the way you breathe sometimes is literally holding you and choking you you are the one look at me because it's a devil of darkness. Your own is not just sickness. Look at me. In the name of Jesus. I command that devil of darkness. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let her go. 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 You are a devil of darkness. Come out. Come out. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. In the name of Jesus, out of her. Come, my sister, you too. Come. Some of you that are standing, as hands are laid, you will find out that it wasn't sickness. My dear, God will set you free right now because your own is an oppression. Look at me. Are you, are you listening to me? There is a devil that has oppressed this girl. You will go. Go, go, go in the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, greater than any other name. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing a dark object coming out of you. Come out of her now. Sister, look at me. I'll pray for you. God will set you free. You believe that? Now, thou foul devil, let this girl go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Go. 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 Let her go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say you won't hide. Come on. I see you in the spirit. Go out of her. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. John please. Minister Jakes. Bishop. Let's begin to. As they lay hands. They will speak to your life. Don't just think they are laying hands. Hallelujah. Please stand. Yes sir. Hallelujah. As hands are laid, begin to pray while you're standing. Out of him now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed now. I curse that devil of darkness. Go. 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 Be healed in the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. 
Come out of her. Come out of her. Right, devil of darkness. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Let him go. Let him go now. Let him go. Let him go. Go. Be healed. Sister, I curse that devil. Because I also see oppression in your sleep. That demon of darkness. Go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus made whole right now be made whole oh God is not done with you God is not done with you be healed in the name of Jesus as you go back to your seat check yourself be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. What's wrong? Be made free right now. In the name of Jesus. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Set you free. Set free right now. From every oppression. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, only outside, not inside. All of you outside, lift your hands. Not those inside. Please, those inside. Lift your hands, those outside. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. The fire of God will terminate the works of darkness. So many of you are under influences of the devil. Hallelujah. Only those outside. At the count of three, as you shout, the power of God comes upon you. One. Two, three. Let the fire fall. I curse devils. I curse demons. Go, go, go. Bring them in, ushers. Go, go. Let the fire fall. Bring them in. Bring them in. The fire fall all across the building. Outside. All across. Fire is falling. Those outside. One more time. Those outside shout Jesus. Outside the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside 
the fire of the Holy Ghost outside the fire of the Holy Ghost outside God is not gone lift your hands I release fire 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 take it take it outside take it outside for this purpose, I see two ladies sitting in the same row outside. The fire of God comes upon you now. Right now. That oppression over your life. Two ladies sitting in the same row. Look at me. We've not finished so. We've not finished. If it's possible. If it's possible, the ministers are going to separate themselves into three and walk across the crowd outside. No devil will survive today. Brother, I see a serpent, not a man. Come out of him now. Out of him now. A devil of darkness. Come out of him. Come out of him. I see a snake, not a man. Come out of him. Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire upon you. 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 I'm seeing a snake, not a human being. You see the way he's behaving? Look at what he's doing. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Come out of him. In the name of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you, the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you, leave him, leave him, go, 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 as you touch me, you touch fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you, the fire of the Holy Ghost, come out of him, he must be free, come out of him. Come out of him now. Come out of him. 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 Come out of Come out of him now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Out. 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 Look at, he's free. Look up. Look at this gentleman. Someone who came oppressed of the devil. Brother, you are free in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pick him up. Stand up, my brother. Look at, see, he's even surprised. Look at. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, look at me. Look at me. Do you know when you came out here? 
Where were you? You came outside. Help me with the mic. What's your name? Samuel. Eh? Samuel. Where are you coming from? Danaka. Look at this guy. Outside. He doesn't even know that he's here. Look at him surprised looking at everybody. The Lord perfect you and set you free. Where was the lady you were praying for? Pray, this lady. See, I see an old woman. That's what I'm seeing. Turn this lady. I see a very old woman. Come on now. Come out of her. Come out of her. You're not done. Come out of her. Come out now. She laid down as though it's done. You are not done. You are spiritual people here. Out of her now. Out of her by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out of her right now. That foul devil. In Jesus' name. Leave her alone. She's free. Look at her. What's wrong with this woman? Who brought her? Please, if you brought someone, make sure you stand close to the person. Who brought mama? Who are you? Come. Well done. What's her name? Lydia. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past three years now. For the past three years. Look at. She had dislocation. She had what? Dislocation on her shoulder. She could Since not when? Carry mama, she can she talk? Yes, I can. Mama, talk. how are you? I'm well. Well done, eh? What's the issue? Oh, this hand now is dislocated. Yes, it was since December last year. December? Uh, that I went to the toilet on my way coming back. You see, you always, like you always know the signature of Satan when you see it. I'm not so, teaching you to be demon conscious. I'm back, just I telling just you that. Myself sitting on the ground. You did what? I said on my way coming back. I found my on the way from the toilet. Yes. How old are you, mama? I'm 51. 51. I found myself sitting on the ground. You not found that, yourself sitting on the ground. I, that, I don't know it, uh, it happened. Not that I fell down flat. So. And, okay, come. You are her daughter. Let, let her talk. I was taken to a students that is not stroke because immediately it happened. My left hand and left leg seized. Your left I, leg right now is not moving. No, it's moving. What of your right hand? The what right, is wrong with that, it? No, nothing happened. It's only the left leg and the left hand that seized immediately. Then I was rushed to the hospital. So the bleeding will stop. No, and, no. The case of the bleeding is different from. I was taken to the hospital. That uh, it was cancer of the womb. Cancer of the womb. Yes. You still have it. Yes. It's going to go. This is what I'm so, saying. That it was not stroke. That it was partial stroke. It was what? Partial stroke. Partial stroke. Then, the following, day, I was in the hospital for two weeks. I, I know. I told them the doctor that I want him to discharge me. I want to go for prayer. So I went to, for prayer in Nosarawa State. So, the, the following day, in, in the prayer house... It's I time move, for you I to move, go. I go, move. go, go, go. Out of her now. Out of her now. Now, in the name of Jesus. That devil. Out of her now. Fire on you. Fire on you. In the name of Jesus. Fire upon you. Go, go, go. Go. Sorry, mama. So, I moved my leg. So, I... From okay, what what is what to... okay? So, what is wrong with you right now? What what did now, you come with right the now? Cancer of the womb, cancer of the womb, we are bleeding. Then, your hand, uh, the hand, these are the two conditions now that I fell down flat. So, I discovered that I have dislocation on my shoulder. So, okay, it's all right. The hand has been fixed locally, but up to now, I couldn't move the hand. But I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Yes. All right. Can you feel my hands? Can you feel my hands? Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My God, do wonders in this hand right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Perfect this hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. That devil of darkness, your hold is taken from my hands. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. fingers yes. every pain go I command it to go 
You are of the spirit of darkness. I challenge you. Try lifting it up. Lift both of your hands up. Try it. Just try lifting your hands up. Can you? Try lifting it up. In the name of Jesus. You feel pains? You feel pains where? Your shoulder. My shoulder. In the name of Jesus. I command by the power of the Holy Spirit. Begin to move it more. In the name of Jesus. Begin to move it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Name of Jesus, I cast that devil. I cast that devil. Can you wind your hand? Try and wind this hand. Just look at me. Look at me. someone that coughs out blood you cough all the time you cough out blood please hurry up you cough out blood literally who is the person inside are they hearing me outside quickly if you identify that person let the person come you cough out blood literally come out Please clear the way for them. Ah, look at oppression. This is what I'm seeing. Come on now, get out of her. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her, thou devil of darkness. I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Not only this lady, but the members of her family have been oppressed. Lay your hands on her chest. In the name of Jesus, I curse that power of darkness. Be free. Totally. Now. In the name of Jesus. Since when? For the past two weeks. For the past two weeks. Have you gone to the hospital? Can I pray for you? You believe Jesus will lay your hands on your chest. You will feel a fiery sensation upon your chest right now. Now you hear my voice. Let her go. Go! Go! Hallelujah. Those of you inside, lift your hands. I'm going to ask the cymbal to clash and the string play. Listen, when that happens, the fire of the spirit will move across anyone here under any oppression of darkness. You must go. This is not a negotiation. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. At the count of three, begin to clash the cymbal. One, two, three. Kashatabata. Go, 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 go! 
go, 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 this road, go, 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 go. I stretch my hand by the power of the spirit. Take it, take it, take it, take it, devils go. Satan be exposed. Satan be exposed for this purpose was the Son of God. Satan be exposed. Light shine. I release fire. 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 Upon this congregation. Fire. 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 Fire upon you. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. Fire. 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 You can't stand it. No devil can stand it. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. You can't stand it. Satan, go, go. It's time for God's people to go. It's time for destinies to be opened. It's time for what has made you to cry to end. Bring them out. Hey, I see you in the spirit. Leave her. Leave her. Go. 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 I see you in the spirit. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Come out of 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 Fire upon you. Must let her go. Madam, in Jesus' name, you are free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are free in Jesus' name. Bring me a mic. I do these things to teach you a lesson. Madam, stand up. No, 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 not her. Not her. You are a devil of darkness. For how do you think you can hide in the presence of God's light? Look at me. Bring the mic for me. You are not gone completely, oh. 
You are a devil of darkness. Out of her now. On your mark, get set, go. Go, 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 go. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. As you touch me, you touch fire. As you touch me, you touch the fire of the spirit. He make it is out of her now. Out, 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 out. Come out of her now. She's free. In the name of Jesus. It will not stand fire from my hands to your head. If I be a servant of God, you stand around fire in the name of Jesus. Come out of her. This woman's destiny has been tied down. Lord, who is the person? Let the fire of God catch up with the person right now. God shows me this room. There's one person. My hands. Let the fire of the spirit separate that person. Now. 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 Stand up, madam. Don't feel embarrassed. Calm down. Hallelujah. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. See, this woman has suffered. You just see someone walking. Things are not going right. People speak all kinds of grammar. And Satan is advancing. Mama, please come. Jangfa is going to speak to you. I sense, please, Mama. You are free. Take her outside. I see her coughing, whatever. Please take her outside for God's sake so we don't litter this place. Take her outside. I don't know if it's poison or whatever it is that she took. Take her outside. You're still not out. Go out, go out, go out now. Out, go out. Go out in the name of Jesus. Go out of her. Go out of her. Come. Place your hand on this lady's chest. Out of her. Come out of her now. I release fire upon you. Foul devil. Out of her. Patata tata ta kapa. Rakata posa tali. Rekete kete kete. Le gronto zopo rotata. Riata la kosiaba. All right, your reign in this life is over. On your mark. Set, go, 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 you can't stand it, go, go, go. I prophesy to you today, after today, your life will begin to move as if Satan does not exist. Amen. Are you listening to me? Every oppression, those outside hear me. Every oppression challenging your family through the greatness of the 
that is in the name of Jesus that challenge will bow don't let her go bring her back come sweetheart look at me just look at me look at my eyes look at my eyes just keep looking look at my eyes look at my eyes I'm seeing your father's face on your face look at my eyes just look for she will go free the children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers right now you and the spirit of death upon her get lost get lost get lost get lost up your heads, O ye gates, be ye lifted, O ye ancient doors, and the King of glory will come in. In Jesus' name, you're free. Come, Mama. Bring that lady who is falling. See, tonight, many of you, you will go back rejoicing. He who has the Son, has it all. We have the Son, so we have it all. Lay your hands on her stomach. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. What is it? Cancer. Who said so? The doctors. Lay your hands there. Interpreter Selena, where she is walking. Tell her Jesus, okay, okay. Tell her Jesus Christ is going to heal her right now. See, she's crying. See, tell her Jesus will heal her now. Is she looking at you? Look at her. Tell her, Mama. Jesus will heal you. Look at, look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I can't sleep in the night. I can't please. Look at this. This is somebody's mother. This is somebody's mother. of you outside I want you to know that Jesus is in this place there is someone I need in this room the devil has oppressed them. and the Holy Ghost spoke to me he said come out two of you all of you in this room lift your hands that devil is a liar as I, I shout the name of Jesus the fire of God will come people please let me in the mighty name of Jesus I release fire right now my father 
locate those two people right now in the name of Jesus let the fire of God fall 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 two of them two of them there's one already two of them fall Fall. 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 Sister, tonight is your night of salvation. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Shut up. Out of them. 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 Bring them in. He who has the son. See, none of you will go back the same. Are you hearing me? None of you will go back. Who is Grace here? Who is by the name Grace? You are standing here. Your name is Grace. Who is Grace? Come in, sir. He who has the son. Has eternal life. We have the sun, so we have eternal life. Time is up, thou foul devil. Let this guy go. Go, fire on you, fire upon you. That devil of oppression, that devil, leave him now. Come out of him. 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 Now fire upon you. Fire. Let him go. Let him go. Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of you are not done. Out, out, out. Until he's completely free. Out. Little girl, be free. I separate you with this spirit. Go. 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 Time up. Time up. This lady is heavily oppressed. Out of her. Out devil of darkness. You came for koinonia. You're welcome. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Stand up, pick him up. Fire on you right now. It's time. It's time. It's time. You must go. Go. Bring him. You must go. This lady has been so tight. Now, listen. I need to explain something to you. Please follow me. It's not the people. Listen. It doesn't mean they are possessed with demons. Are you listening to me? So get that clear so that you don't carry your big mouth and start talking stories around. There are three levels of manifestation of Satan. Some of them are acutely possessed with demons. Some of them, devils influence their lives and destinies. So the fact that they are manifesting like they are possessed does not mean they are possessed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why they don't even know. Pick him up. Kai, this guy has been so oppressed of the devil this lady has dreams and she meets with people go out of her go out of her just let him let him lie down when he's ready to stand up this guy is so weak he doesn't even know that he has been under all kinds of bondages of Satan. Who prayed? Let me pray for you. Mama, 
you believe Jesus has authority over cancer? You do? Because he's going to go. Oh yes, it will go. Hmm? Lay your hands there. See, I, I'm touching it. It's looking like a stone. Out of her! Out of her! Out of her! Devil of darkness! It's not cancer. It's a spirit. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. He was the son has eternal life. Hallelujah. Mama, who brought Mama out? Eh? I said, who is Grace? Oh, I was actually talking about some. Bring the man on the wheelchair and on crutches. Let him come and stand here. Please, if we have not called your case, don't just come out. We'll give room for that. But let him stand. Sir, please, can you come and minister to this woman for time's sake? Bring him here. Sir, you're welcome. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Accident. On which leg? This leg. What's wrong with the leg? Operation. Operation. Yes. They did surgery and it's not working. You want to walk? Yes. You believe Jesus will set you yes. free? Clear the way for him. He was the son. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You believe in Jesus Christ? Can you walk without with it? Are you feeling pains? Yes. Where? What of this leg? Look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I set you free. I command your leg to straighten out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. Walk. Come, follow me. Follow me. Can you walk? Try it. Just take a step and see. What's wrong with the legs? It's heavy. Ah, where? But can you bend it like this? Try and bend it. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? God is healing you. Keep moving it. Move it. Move it. You just do what I'm telling you to do. Move it. Move it. Now move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Can we try and walk now? Hold this one. Hold my hands. Walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Try and match it down. Is it because of the metal? There's a metal inside his leg. So it's limiting him from walking. Hallelujah. So they must remove the metal. They can't, oh, they put it here permanently. Lord, let this metal become his bones. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. This metal Amen. Melt away. Amen. move across the crowd. We don't have time. Go ahead. Okay, Janfa is already ministering. Some people outside just move and minister to people. Join them, Kenny. Someone should take on this role. Vivian. I'm hearing the name Vivian. Pastor, sir. Yes. Vivian. Who is Vivian? A fair lady called Vivian. No, no, a fair lady called Vivian. The Lord is showing me a fair lady called Vivian. Vivian. Sister, stand up. Look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. 
Look at my eyes. Thou foul devil. Go. 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 In Jesus' name. Be set free. Leave I alone. Vivian. What's wrong with you? Eh? People come to you and oppress you in a dream. Is that correct? Do you know me? Have, you, have I talked with you before? You want to be free? You'll be free right now. Oga John, it's time for you to enter God's plan and purpose for your life. Are you listening to me? Because you are not supposed to be a photographer. Are you listening to me? You are supposed to have gone far beyond this level. God didn't just bring you to Koinonia to snap. Please take the, photo, the camera. Victor can snap, so be doing it in the interim. You believe what I'm telling you? Uh -huh, because I see that how many people drink in your family? Tell the truth and shame the devil. How many? Two people, sir. You and who? Again, yes, sir. you used to drink. Yes, sir. Have you stopped yes, sir. completely? Yes, sir. Praise God. But the Lord will set you free. Yes, hmm? Because in your family, women. Uh -uh. You believe that? Yes, eh? See, let me tell you the truth. This is not your destiny in Christ. This happened as a result of frustration. Is that correct? Many things, school didn't work. Many things happen. Even Waiek, you don't even have your complete result. Is that true? Help me. Is that true? That's true? God will set you free. Hallelujah. You believe that? I want to speak into your destiny and call it forth into where God wants you to be. That devil is a liar. Come out of him now. Come out of him. I release your glorious destiny. The days of oppression are over. Rise up beyond the photographer. Become the leader and the entrepreneur that God has destined for you to be. See, listen. It's not that this guy is lazy. I hope you know that. It's not that he's lazy. Ella, come. Abigail, come. Wumi, come. Three of you, come and stand here. For the sake of your families. The time has come. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. A devil of darkness. Out. Now. Now. Shatatarata. Reketele monsubariata. Brento capriata laka. Rakata baba baba baba. Out. Out. Fire upon you. Setele kepariata. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered fire 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 be set free right now in the name of jesus you have a glorious destiny no devil will hold you down in the name of jesus lawful captives be free i release you that devil of tamper and anger go go i command you be free the plague of death over your family. Go, 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 go. I come in, I command that terminal disease. Now it's time. Time up. Time up. You are a devil. Go in the name of Jesus. Be free. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That devil cannot stand. Fire upon you. It's time to be free. Time to be free time to be free leave her let her go this lady has suffered too long you've held her destiny down go in the name of jesus
once again. Come. I stopped praying for you for a reason. Please take this guy up, this gentleman. Look at me. That's your life. Listen, listen. I saw upon this guy the spirit of Cain. And I didn't know what it was. He was lying down there. That was why I walked there and laid my hands upon. You know the curse that was upon Cain? Bring them out. God is not done with them yet. You know the curse that was upon Cain? He said he won't die, but he will be a wanderer. This is how this guy's life has been. Today you are in Lagos. Tomorrow you are here. Next tomorrow you are this. It's time for your freedom. Free you. He who has the sun has the time. My dear, come and stand here. Yes. Come and stand here. Birthday girl. You are the one who celebrated your birthday today. You're welcome. We are going to pray and minister to people. The ministers are, sir, you, you are done? Ah, please pray. Oh, please take time and speak into their lives. I beg you. These people came to receive. Ministers, go around. Please prophesy to them. Where's Jamfa? Jakes, please, please move around. Where are the people I called out now? My dear, you know, the devil wants to make your life a waste. So you are moving, but you are not accomplishing anything. But the Lord loves you. And tonight, the eye of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. You believe that? Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Just look at me. Lord, let this lady be free from every oppression of darkness. In the name of Jesus, be free. I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Look at me. I'm seeing you pregnant. Drive every useless man out of your life. Are you listening to me? I'm not saying you are pregnant now. I'm saying I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, not physically. Hallelujah. Praise God. So don't please kick any man who wants to come and talk grammar around you. Because I'm seeing that you are going to three countries. Number one, South Africa. Huh? Number two, UK. Number three, Canada. These three countries. The Lord is taking you there. Hold on. But then I see a lot of resistance rising up from wherever. I may not be able to talk all this with you because we're in the presence of people. But I want to pray for you. It's time. See, three things will happen. One, a passion for God you cannot recover from. The ministers are ministering to people around. While they are that devil, let me tell you, cast out every devil, prophesy, release people to their prophetic destinies. Let her go. Go! Go! Time up, thou devil of darkness. Be free now. Be free now. I command that wicked spirit. Depart from your life. Fire right now all over your body. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. All over you. Right now. Leave her, let her go. For she shall not be called Jabez. That's what the Lord says I should say. Because you were born in sorrow, you will not be called Jabez. Tonight, I enlarge your coast in the spirit. My dear, look at me. 
from today you will walk into your prophetic destiny see you don't know what it is that has happened to you now even you you cannot answer but look at me you are a very good girl are you listening to me but you are assuming the character of another person tonight the lord sets you free this lady is a wonderful lady beyond your imagination but sometimes you see her doing things that even her does not know because i see the spirit of anger and rage i mean rage almost to kill somebody but the lord sets you free and this is what i'm seeing in the spirit i'm seeing you move from the side and you are climbing a ladder and the lord says restore this is what i prophesy restore this is what will begin to happen to you restore hallelujah if i if i hearing the name if i if i who is if i If I now, if you brought someone for healing from outside Zaria, quickly bring them phone. Quickly, we have to round up. Quickly, please bring them. If you invited someone, no matter how far you are outside, bring the person, sir. Come, it's time for the Lord to set you free, not only in your health. But on every area of your life. You believe that? Hmm. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. All right now. I speak to you. I open up that door. I challenge the works of darkness. Go! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. One, two, three. The Lord perfects you. Who brought this man? What's wrong with him? Bring them forward. He has what? His sight. He used to be bigger than this. But what happened? Because I'm seeing something like a rock upon his head. Silvanus. Sir, does he drink? Who is your friend that drinks? He's drinking. You need to get him born again and serious with God. Right? I want to pray for you right now. Your weight will come back, your life will be restored. And your eyes, you will begin to see clearly. Hallelujah. Estefanus. Silvanus. From where? From Haindogo. From where? Haindogo. Eh? Haindogo. 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 Ah, okay. You are born again. You love Jesus Christ. But you won't do ministry the way you are planning. You will start afresh with God, right? So disable all those man of God thing. You will start afresh, primary one, two, three, four, five. God will anoint you, right? I'm going to pray for you. You believe what I'm saying and leave all your friends who are deceiving you. Huh? You are going to be a great man, but you are not yet that man. So you will stay in the school of the spirit. Hmm? These teachings that you people jump and pride over, they are basic things in the spirit. Let God work with you. From today, you begin a new journey. Hold my hands. Lord, put a fire upon him. Right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A new beginning, fresh start. Just breathe in and out. As deep as you can. In and out. Baba, be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Who brought him? He came on his own. What's wrong with you? Migraine. Put your hands on your head. Lay it. Be free. Now, in the name of 
of Jesus Christ. Come, this fair lady, you come. Please pour the prayer request. Highly to serve. You will be a mighty tool in the hands of God. Huh? Mighty tool. But he will first set you free. Then you will begin a walk with him. Any appetite and anything that does not belong to him will give way. You will be surprised what you will begin to do in your life. Okay? Look at me. What am I doing? One leg in. Where's the other leg? Why? Because this is how your life is. It's time for you to love him with every passion. Hmm? So I break everything that is not of God in the realm of the spirit. Let the fire of God take over. Take over your life. Take over her life. Now foul spirit. Let her go. Lord, anoint her and use her. Affect my life. Breathe on me. I look to you for life. Please do it quickly. Someone help her. Lift up your hands. I look to you. saw the sun rising over your family and then I heard this song I will wait for you Jesus you're the sun in my the days of oppression are over you are standing on behalf of your family Something is happening to your father right where I'm holding. The Lord is setting him free. Today the Lord is giving you the mantle that was upon your mother. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Because as I look at you I see her face. And the Lord says I should tell you to run with the spirit of power. Whatever you decree will happen. The Lord will establish you and you will be a mother indeed. That all your times of tears will be taken away by a new joy. Take this message to your father for the Lord visits your family tonight. What was I doing? Okay, the ministers are still... Okay, those that are around, Pastor Williams is here. Just, if the ministers are ministering, let them continue, but... Those that are around, even if it's just me and Pastor Williams, please, let's pray on the request. After we pray on the request, I'm going to begin to move prophetically and speak. This is the time you will receive. Are you listening to me? Stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to pray in tongues. Bishop. Stretch your hands. Shabala bara do krasta bara bara. Rateka te prate ke de bara de bash. Paroka prande prate shida. Do miracles, oh God. Mareka te bara da 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 bash. Solve every problem here, oh God. And for all our Facebook, Twitter.
these Egyptians, you see them no more. 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 These Egyptians, you are conquered. Whatever is conquered here is conquered. All over this country and around the world, we release testimonies, miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your hand, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your great power, let there be miracles on this request. Miracles, supernatural miracles, terminate sicknesses, terminate diseases, never to return. Creative miracles in the name of Jesus. All oh, supernatural jobs, supernatural wisdom, let it be done by your spirit. Miracles by your spirit. Supernatural miracles by your spirit. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I see. I found a reason. Lift your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I want you to receive every prophetic word because the creative power of God is going to swing into motion. The creative and prophetic power. Lift your hands. As I pray, I'd like you to shout a loud amen with your spirit. Hallelujah. Right now. Doors of delay. I command you. Be open. In the name of us. Delay. Be gone. Delay. Be gone. Delay. Delay in marriage. Delay in jobs. I curse it to his root I release you in the name of Jesus every academic bondage every academic bondage kateka leko sopa repete lato sabati adaka in the name of Jesus, be free, be free, be free, mental blockage, be free from it, academic bondage, I set you free, this is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesied by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold. Seven-fold. Not one-fold. Not two-fold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized, any student here 
who has been victimized right now whether it is project or service year or whatever i change it in the realm of the spirit any one of your loved ones that has no job between today and the middle of april i command fearful supernatural jobs in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every womb called barry i don't care whether the womb has been removed or not right now in nine months time you will celebrate miracle children be open every barren womb be open hallelujah every plague of death over your life or your family members make sure you are lifting your hands over. every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families I see miscarriage of children every plague of death I command it to pass over you forever in the name of Jesus he said because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows the anointing that brings you above I call you in the realm of the spirit rise up in the name of Jesus rise up a new level of prosperity a new level of lifting a new level of wisdom and Jesus grew in wisdom in stature and in favor with God and with men as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives let a cloak of favor hit you where you are. Favor! 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 Every terminal disease in this place, HIV, cancer, in the name of Jesus, we terminate it once and for all. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. S S A S. We change your genotype in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight it is time for the new anointing guard up your loins and be ready every yoke of bondage surely must be broken i command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of Jesus Christ captivity ends in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the Lord is telling me let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life. I command you by the Spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me. Move forward. Go forward. 
no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it I place you inside it I take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life I release it move forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak to you every Egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the Egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an Egyptian as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them I release signs wonders I release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace take your miracle take your miracle take your miracle everything your hand touches from today in the name that is above all names I command it to multiply my brother stand here bring this lady come this is what I'm demonstrating to you what I saw in the spirit that God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life. May the Lord take you where your gift will be needed. May the Lord take you where your gift, I command demand upon your oil. Demand, prophetic demand. I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your families. Receive it. Receive it. Help. Help is coming. Zion's help. The helper of Zion. Move across families. Move across families. I tell you as surely as the Lord lives. Between today and the next 21 days. You will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I impart spiritual gift upon you. At the count of seven, let fresh fire fall upon everybody. Every one, two, Three. My God, do it. I see angels. Four. Five. Six. There it is. Come on. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Outside. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. Fire. The prophetic. The apostolic. The evangelistic. Teaching mantles. 
pastoral graces, leadership, entrepreneurship. I fire it into your spirit. Everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. In the name of the Lord Jesus, doors be open. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. You just receive it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. An angel stands in this row. Take it, break through. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Right to the back. Take it, take it. Tonight, the Lord gives you a new name. Whatever you came here for, whatever request you brought, I command, go back with a testimony. Go back with a complete testimony. Whatever you came here with, go back with a testimony. In the name of Jesus. And every one of you who came from far and near to catch a fire and catch an anointing, go back with that fire. Go back and reproduce these things. And even greater, receive it. Receive it. Jesus now listen the Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish listen to me everybody inside and outside you're here and you've been struggling with your life the Lord has been speaking to you you know that now is the time to make it right with the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Whosoever will come to me, I will in no wise cast away. He said, Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. You've never made this decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Especially many of you outside. Tonight is your night. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is saying, How long? Will you run away when I have a better life for you? When I can save you from eternal condemnation and lead you to the path of grace? Or you've given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. Please, as you hear my voice, do not harden your heart. Hallelujah. At the count of three, inside and outside, I want you to leave your seat and rush out here. The Lord is calling you. You've not given your heart to the Lord. Leave your seat. They are coming. Appreciate them. Right now, leave your seat. Come right to the front. Clap for them. They are coming. Thank you, Jesus. You need to make it right with the Lord. Come out. Or oh, you've been born again once, but you've derailed. Don't stay outside. No matter how far you are, find your way to the front. Forget about your friend. Please run quick. Quick, quick, do it fast. Keep clapping, Koinonia. Thank you, Lord, for a harvest. Don't sit back. There are still more people outside. The Holy Ghost is speaking to you. Don't wrestle with him. Sister, brother, the time has come.
there are still more people I see outside keep coming we'll wait for you for one minute keep coming no matter what you've done there is a fresh start celebrate them the devil is a liar he will not hold you back the devil is a liar the devil is a liar hallelujah keep coming keep coming you are welcome keep coming hallelujah thank you brothers and sisters for making this decision hallelujah I like to pray for you I like to lead you to Jesus Christ it doesn't matter how far and how long you have gone the Lord can give you a new start tonight are you listening to me the Lord can give you a new start tonight no matter how far you have gone no matter how far you have gone no matter how far you have gone lift your right hand to heaven and say after me Lord Jesus mean it from your heart this is not a Bible recitation Lord Jesus I come before you acknowledging you as my Savior I believe you died for me I believe you rose again for me today I receive the gift of salvation come into my heart give me a new start in the name of Jesus I denounce sin I denounce Satan make me a new person fill me with your Holy Spirit from today forward ever backward never the things I used to do I'll do them no more because Jesus is Lord of my life father I commend these ones to you they have come out to make a genuine decision because they love you and they acknowledge you my God I pray that their salvation be genuine and I pray that from today you begin a walk in their lives I command that you are free from every challenge you used to go through in the name of the Lord Jesus let peace return to your heart Holy Spirit I commend you to these ones this is the assignment you have given on earth I pray that you do great things in their life in the name of Jesus my brother you are the one who drove me one time the Lord will begin to do great things in your life and even in your family for this great decision you have made in the name of Jesus appreciate them in Jesus name now in one minute I like you to follow the elder I said the elders follow the ushers hallelujah and they'll be able to have your details and will follow you up when sir Jakes Monday tomorrow tomorrow what time tomorrow 7 p.m. on the dot please be at chapel pastor Jakes will be following you up we have foundational teachings that will bring to guide you and you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ah, okay. The small ones, please, the very young ones, you're welcome. You can come by 4 p.m., all right, so that you are not roaming around 4 p.m. If you have to explain to your parents, please tell them you got born again. And if you need, if your parents want to talk to any of the ministers to confirm, no problem. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, follow the ushers. God bless you. Appreciate them. You're worshiping with us for the first time. This is your first time of attending this glorious meeting called Koinonia. I'd like you to leave your seat and jump out quickly. Quickly. Appreciate them. Come on, Koinonia. There are many people outside. We celebrate you. Come on. Koinonia celebrates you. Give them a big welcome. If there's anybody sitting close to you who is coming for the first time, ask the person to come out. We have a blessing for you. Keep clapping. Wow. Keep clapping. They are coming. Please hurry up. Hurry up. Make way for them. Ushers, direct them. Thank you. Keep coming. Thank you, mommy. Keep coming.
coming, keep coming. There's still space for you. There's still space. We acknowledge you and we want to tell you thank you for coming. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia, put together by Eternity Network International. We thank God for what he's doing in our midst. How many of you were blessed tonight? I assure you, you will never be the same. You will go back and meet fearful testimonies. I assure you, you will know you met God tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We love you. We truly celebrate you for making our time and the sacrifice to come here. Hallelujah. We are here every Friday building the word and helping us to understand the Holy Spirit and walk in partnership with him. We want to pray for you and prophesy upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands upon them. Listen, we are anointed. So if we pray for you, believe it, it will happen in your life. Father, we pray that you bless them. Anoint everyone. May the Lord give you a testimony that will confirm that you met God tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you a testimony. Come out of her now. Out now. Out of her. Come out of her. Your testimony starts. Come out. Out of her now. now. Devil, come on. Out. Out of her. Come out of her. Out! Out! You have oppressed her for too long. She came for koinonia. Thou devil of darkness. Alright, your time is up. Go. Now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That demon of lust, leave her. Now. Now. In Jesus' name. You're free. In Jesus' name. Pick her up. Sister. You have received a visitation from the Lord. For you would have come back with the same problems you carried and brought here. But the Lord has visited you tonight. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. And for every one of you, don't you think we are playing when we are praying for you? We truly pray that you will go back with a testimony and an experience. That the things you used to do that are not consistent with the Lord you will do them no more. Every bad relationship you came here with, we break it. You will go back, you won't find the other people again. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord connect you to destiny help us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And every bondage of Satan, we set you free from it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. I'd like you to quickly follow the ushers. They will have your details and We'll pray for you and follow you up. We are here every Friday. The Lord bless you. Keep coming and invite others in Jesus' name. Celebrate them and appreciate them as they go back. Let's take the following announcements very quickly and we're out of here. Presbio Consults Nigeria presents the Real Entrepreneurs Forum. Hallelujah. How to start and grow your business, how to raise capital, why most entrepreneurs fail, and so on and so forth. This is a business meeting. The facilitators are Mr. Femi Bolaji, the CEO of Intac Pharmaceuticals, Mr. Francis Yusuf, CEO Real Eagle Sprints, and Mr. Victor Mataya, CEO Aspire Network. The date is tomorrow, 23rd of February. Saturday time is 9 p.m. The venue is Vet Multipurpose Hall. Watch out for the posters, and please be there tomorrow. 9 a.m. in the morning. Hallelujah. This was put together by one of us. Please honor him and get blessed. Hallelujah. We are proud of this. Hallelujah. I think this is Isaac, right? That's Isaac. Hallelujah. We are proud to dedicate our new envelopes for mission and our school of ministry. Are you happy about that? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
we've made envelopes for our school of ministry and we've made envelopes for missions so from today anytime you're coming for koinonia hallelujah as the lord blesses you and as the lord grants you grace come prepared not only to give your offering but we'll drop the envelopes you may not need to make any special call you have your seed whatever from this night to sow into the school of ministry these are arms of eni hallelujah the school of ministry is directed by bishop stan and the missions is directed by jakes hallelujah pastor jakes so i'd like you to be part of what god is doing hallelujah so every time you come from next week inside and outside we'll just drop the envelopes you have your tithe offering and then appropriately just put in your seeds here and we'll pray on it and speak into your life i want to assure you that this house is fruitful ground hallelujah by the grace of god we are faithful with every money that comes and we use it for the reason why it was given we dedicate this in the name of the lord jesus christ father we thank you for what you are doing in this house we pray that everyone who will give for our school of ministry to raise and to train our students and to train generals in the spirit my god i pray that you will cause them to flourish and enjoy your blessings in the name of jesus and we pray for our mission so god as we visit hospitals prisons police centers mission fields and we supply welfare to many people my god i pray that whoever partners with this project will experience an open heavens we dedicate this it will only be used for the glory of the king no man will be glorified but jesus alone we dedicate it in jesus name god bless you hallelujah from after the service if you feel god is leading you the, the envelope don't go with them please you just come and we'll place them there and then you just drop your seed house on the rock foundation zaria presents tehila africa a crazy African praise. The date is 28 February. Time is 10.30 p.m. Venue is Charity and Faith Missions. Ministering will be Steve Strings and many more. Dress code strictly traditional. Hallelujah. This is announcement from our School of Ministry. The closing date for the submission of the forms for ENI School of Ministry is next week Friday. Please listen carefully. Next week Friday will be closing for all the prospective students. And now the director has instructed that um, the fact that you have the form does not mean you, you are automatically a student. Hallelujah. And he said, you hold on with the school fees. We are going to go through um, a screening process and then will place the list. Am I right, sir? Bishop? Am I correct? Okay. Um, by the grace of God, the Lord has granted us grace to secure a venue. We'll be using God's time for our school of ministry. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He granted it unto us free of charge. Absolutely free. Hallelujah. We thank God for it. Learn to celebrate what God is doing in the house. Okay, well, there are still forms... I understand that there are some of you, especially those who are from Kano and Mina. You can meet Bishop afterwards and you get it. And I know there was a pastor that told me he will be around. Please wait and collect it for yourself and your pastor. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching this from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. 
Let the rain 